Good morning, collective. Quick energy check. See what the divine archangels, the ascending masters need you guys to know as you're navigating through your journey, ascending to your highest good. I've called in the appropriate protection. It is a timeless reading. It's whenever it finds you. So, this is a general reading. It is not personal. Make sure that you're taking only what resonates, leaving the rest for the next person. Every reading will not be for you, okay? Make sure that you guys are being the leaders of your own discernment. Okay. Archangel Michael, good morning. I ask that you place a seal of protection around me as I open myself to channel these messages for the soul tribe. Please and thank you. What is the overall message for today? What is the overall message for today, Holy Spirit? Ascending Masters, my beautiful ancestors of the highest white light, only of the highest white light, nothing other but the highest white light. Level up for you. So there's some kind of level up for you guys. Something could have happened during this um, new moon, a spiritual reset. You guys could be feeling like the energy. I know I have. Um, you guys got some news that's coming in that you're going to love. Pluto, power, transformation. There was some transformation here. Some of you guys went through a death rebirth. You guys are stepping into like, your life is moving towards, you know, um, bigger desires. This is beautiful, guys. You guys got some news coming in. A lot of you guys let go of certain situations, people, places, things, emotions, and you just let God. You let God handle it. Let's see. What is this level of spiritual reset? A lot of you guys are going through a death transformation rebirth. A lot of you guys are releasing um, up to 12 to 15 years of, of, of karma. Archangel Raphael is helping you guys at this time. He's working very close to you guys for healing. The healing angel is with you supporting and healing and supporting your healing work. Okay. Some of you guys are meant to be healers, but you have to what? First learn how to heal yourself, right? Three, four, five. Things are going in divine order. This is beautiful. You guys are stepping into your destinies. You started delegating, letting go and letting God. Letting go and letting God. There's a level up. You got some news coming in that you're going to love, collective. Some of you guys are meant to be healers, but you have to heal yourself first before you could step into that. Um that energy good morning earth angels law of attraction relationships activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of the energies so that's with the letting go and letting god a lot of you guys you know the people places things the that you once gave energy to a lot of that's changing for you you're you're more sensitive at this time 
and you're more aware of the energies. You started delegating. So you realize if I'm hanging around people who are miserable, doing low vibrational shit, tricking, gossiping, lying, sneaking, manipulating, slandering, you know, just doing underhand shit. That's the kind of people and energies I will attract in my life because that's what the law of attraction works on. What you're putting out is what you're getting back. So the universe sees. Oh, so you like hanging out with these type of people? You like mingling with these type of people? You like doing this underhand type of shit? Well, let's bring more of that to you because that's what you like. You guys are starting to realize There's a spiritual reset that happened for this new moon, especially with that eclipse energy. Expect a miracle. Something beautiful is coming in. You guys have good news coming in. Transformation rebirth. You guys are standing in your power, guiding children. Some of you guys started doing that in the healing of your child. Some of you guys started reaching out to your children, um, trying to mend those kind of relationships. Some of you guys are stepping into your destiny, which is helping guide other children, right? It's all different for all of us. She's talking to herself. <laughs> I'm talking to you guys. What else do we need to see, Holy Spirit? Beautiful ancestors of the highest white light. There's a huge level up for you here, collective. There's a huge level up. Transformation, baby. Empress energy. Empress energy. You guys... Are stepping whether you're a masculine the masculine can embody the empress energy we have both inside of us that's what we call duality when you're able to operate it from both sides the empress sits there and she attracts the law of attraction okay there's a beautiful transformation happening here the transformation card came out twice with that Pluto card Pluto talks about power and transformation Okay. Sensitivity. You guys are sensitive at this time. Okay. Okay, what else do we need to 
just kind of pop on this bottom here. This transformation is going to look different for everybody. Some of you guys are feeling it in your energy. You're feeling more vibrant, more alive, more upbeat. You guys are working on creativities. Some of you guys are feeling sleepy, tired, like you just need to rest. Some of you guys, it's going to be different for everybody. Move beyond intention to believe. You guys started believing. It's, a, it's real powerful. You know, when we say, make sure you guys are stating your intention when we're manifesting, right? There's a power behind that intention. And that's believing in the intention, believing in what you guys are going to, what you're manifesting, what you're trying to create for yourself, right? You have to believe. I believe, divine. I believe. Instead of saying, God, please bring this into me. You need to start saying, I already have it. I am powerful. I am walking into my destined path. Whatever this is for you. You know, if you guys are trying to manifest a home, I'm already in this new home. I'm already walking up the stairs. You got to visualize this, this house. Befriend the world polar, polarized. The word polarized. I always get confused with that word. That's like the polarities. Somebody commented in in the comments, please. One more, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. I say one, they say two. <laughs> The edge of evolution feels messy. Yeah, I bet you it did. I bet you it felt chaotic. Before the calm, you have to go through that transformation, that storm, that death. What's your honest truth? I feel like you guys became honest with yourselves. You know, we can't, we, there's a, there's a, walking this path is so, there's a lot of growth when we're going through this, when we're manifesting, right? We have to admit our truths, our wrongs, our truths. It doesn't mean you have to write everything down and say public service announcement, broadcast, broadcast. You know, it doesn't work like that. It's between you, that paper, that pen, and the divine. Being honest, because he already knows. Um, and just repenting on whatever it is that your truths are, whatever your wrongs are, right? And knowing never to make those same mistakes again. Because those tests will come in in different forms. Right? We've learned this already, guys. Okay? Um, once I started releasing and releasing and releasing and releasing and releasing. And praying and praying and praying and praying. Okay? Um... Um, I'm thankful, you know, that the way spirit made me go through my awakening was a lot of you guys didn't have, didn't have this opportunity or this chance to go through this shit, right? Like this. Some of you guys are going through deaths, transformation, rebirths while you're working jobs. You know, that shit is not easy trying to balance your spirituality while working in a 3D job, Right? Because we still have to pay bills, right? For me, it was totally opposite collective. Spirit made me walk away from everything. Everything. I literally left everything behind. The car, the job, the, 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 I left my kids behind. I left everything. Yang was left behind. And I just packed six duffel bags and I left to Amsterdam. For a whole year. 
And I said, fuck these bills, fuck these credit cards, fuck this car, fuck that, and fuck this. I need to do self-care, self-love on myself right now. What do I need? And I'm grateful that I was able to have the opportunity of just walking away without the burdens of this worldly stuff, right? Um, Not many of you guys have the opportunity to do that. Okay, and and I understand that struggle because I was fighting back and forth for a long time for a few months, whether I should leave or not. And every time I kept paying a bill, three more came. And every time I thought I was getting ahead, something else happened. Okay. Spirit was like, leave this shit the hell behind. And I said, okay. And I just, four o'clock in the morning, from one day to the next. I was on the train. It took me three trains. And I had to be honest with myself. What was more important at the time for me? I'm not good. Nobody's going to be good around me if I'm not fucking mentally good. Okay, I had to go through that transformation. I had to, I had to heal. I had to learn how to heal myself so that I can help you guys. And every time I learned a new lesson, I always made sure I made a video about it. Like, this is what, you know, I started, I was always researching, 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 researching. And I never knew. I knew, I kind of knew that Spirit was trying to guide me to helping children. After I healed my inner self, my inner child, I always felt that. Spirit was trying to guide me to help kids. And here I am. The point of the story is after I started healing and letting go of all the traumas, the stuff that I've done, the stuff that people have done to me, I started letting it go. I started manifesting again. It was so crazy because Spirit always made sure that even while I was doing my my videos, because my first the first year of my videos were done on a cardboard box. You guys go back. Those are the videos. Um, they were done on a cardboard box. In a little closet. <laughs> I remember telling my brother, like, there were times that I was, like, sitting there. And I'm, like, I, I wanted to go do things, like, get out, go to other parts, go to other places. And I didn't have a way of traveling. And I'm like, I have a car all the way over here that's just sitting here, you know, and I don't have nothing when I'm over here. And I told my, I told my brother, I said, I'm going to manifest. I'm manifesting a new car by one in one year. I'm going to have another car. And I did. And I told, I told my sister, I'm like, I'm not going to be here for long. In one year. I'm going to have my apartment. And I did. And then the more I kept seeing how I was manifesting and bringing things into my life, everything just started falling into place. When I, when I walked away from the people, the places, the things, and healed those emotions, buried emotions, traumas, okay? Things that you may not, you may, you may, you may, um, not, you know, you may feel some, 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 some people have done some shit and you got to ask God for forgiveness and for whoever I'm beating for here, it looks like you, there's a spiritual reset here. I feel like going as by, as far back as 12 to 15 years, that's how much has been, is being released here. And, and that's a beautiful thing, you know? You 
you're transformed into this goddess. That goddess energy. The empress always attracts. She sits there and she attracts. And I just said, that's exactly what I was saying. No, destiny. <laughs> that's exactly what I was saying. I kept telling my family, like, I'm not going to be like this for long. I just needed to mentally reset my mind, my body, and my spirit. I needed that one year and of no bills. I came back to credit card debt, yeah. But the old me, I would have been like this. Oh! The, the new me, I'm like, it'll, it'll get handled. I'm not so over anxiety, stressed about that. The old me would have been stressed out that my, that my, um, my credit score was fucked up. The new me is like, fuck that credit score. I know that there's something more important than a fucking credit score. <laughs> I can never make this up. Guys, I was a financial advisor. Okay. Since 2009. All the way to 2021. When I went through my awakening. I've helped people fix their credit. I've helped people mortgage their first homes. From that, I went into helping Fortune 500 companies. Okay? People that are just starting up their businesses, looking to build business credit. I've always been in financial advising. So for me, it would have I, the old me would have been stressed the hell out. Like, how am I helping people fix their credit and my shit look choppy? That would have stressed me out. The new me is like, fuck that. Fuck that credit score. Fuck that credit card. Mm-mm. Because I know God has a plan. I know God has a way. I know God has... God is the one who does everything. Okay? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not about to be sitting here stressed out over shit. That I have no control over. Yeah. Transformation, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm not about to be in this energy. Oh my God. Lack, lack, lack. No. That's what the devil wants you to be in. That's what this world wants you to be in. Stress, lack. Five of Pentacles. That's not who the hell we are. We are fucking divine beings. We are chosen ones. We are spiritual beings that are having a human experience. Do you understand what that means? Just listen to how that comes out your mouth. We are spiritual beings that are having a human. If we're having a human experience, why are we stressing ourselves out? If this experience will be obsolete at any moment of time. It won't happen. We won't remember this. Why are we stressing ourselves out? No. Let go of that shit. This world is corrupt and it wants to be sneaky and deceptive. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. That's not what our destined path says for us. Uh-uh. Exactly. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, our destined past says that we're going to be on this wheel of fortune as this emperor. We have emperor and empress on the board. Our destiny is sealed. Our faith is sealed. We will have success. We just got to hold on to what? What was that word? The belief word. When we're doing our intentions and manifesting, it is very important that that belief is strong behind those intentions. It's not manifest today, forget what you're manifesting in two days, and then go back to your little rebel ass ways. No. It's holding those papers, keeping it under your pillow, okay, and repeating it until your mind repeats it itself. I had, I had 
these things, I had paper, printing paper all over my house when I first went through my awakening. Because the first thing spirit made me realize, the mental, the mental, the way we think is what we manifest. And if we start thinking we're in this energy, we start feeling like we're in this energy. And what would we do? We manifest this in our lives. When we have these type of people projecting and doing sneaky underhanding ship in our energy, we manifest these type of people, different faces, same, same spirit in our life. When we have toxic as, gaslighting as, lovers who want to just take slow, be, be slow to commit and have multiple lovers. We manifest that in our life. Why? Because they put us in this vibration. This is the hermit card. This hermit card looks like she's been through some shit. Like, I just don't even want to deal with the world anymore. She's closing her laptop, holding her heart. Her hair is white. Because we keep forgiving these type of people. No. Mm -mm. Transformation. Spiritual reset. Level up for you. Let go and let God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Let go and let God. Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. Expect a miracle. Be strong, collective. You guys got this. There's a transformation, a beautiful transformation here. Look at this, the magician. Mm-hmm. Double transformation. The magician and the judgment card represent transformation cards also. Start loving yourself. The more you start loving yourself and doing self-care, self-love, those manifestations come in, baby. This is what I got for you guys. Love and light.